Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another Diecast review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Kyle Larson 2014 Enios History 300 winner in the NASCAR Nationwide Series race from Concord, North Carolina. Before I get to the Diecast itself, let's take a look at the st uh, statistic card. Feel free to pause the video. Take a closer look at that. Here's the front. Of course, back. Larson clinches the win at Charlotte. So there's the stat card. Go ahead and take a look at the box. It comes in your classic 2014 Nationwide Series race version packaging featuring series logo. Lionel Racing, race winner, 124 scale stock car race version. Got the uh, stat card sticker on the side there. It's back when they were doing the golden ticket, which I never even came close to winning on. Got 2014 and the production sticker that says Kyle Larson, number 42 Enios History 300 winner, 2014 Camaro, one of 673 produced. Got the 2014 Nationwide Series schedule on this side, and that same same uh, stat card sticker on this end. So that is the packaging. We'll go ahead and take a close look at the diecast itself now, and this is by far one of my favorite liveries. The Enios paint schemes uh, look great. I got the. Uh, Grace Trotter uh, Arca win coming hopefully within the next month or so. So we'll start here on the hood. We have Enos. We do have the little uh, simulated plates there for where the tethers would attach to the underside of the hood. Got the Nationwide Series Patriotic, patriotic Banner there and a little bit of the sun visor detail underneath that. We do have tire rubber on the fenders and hoods. Hopefully you can see that. There is your uh, hood pin detail. It's hard to see but there are simulated pieces of tape holding down the hood pins. It does have really nice dash detail there as well. Going along to the nose we have 42 Camaro Turner Scott Motorsports. It is hard to see but there is a Chevrolet logo in the center there of the uh, headlight detail. All the detail down here on the splitter and lower grille. There's the tire rubber hopefully it shows up on the splitter. Open up the hood here. There's your engine detail. Just Chevrolet on the bottom underside of the hood there. But once again your 2014 engine detail. Now this car is full metal. Hood open, trunk open, functioning roof flaps, metal chassis, working steering. Nothing like today's Xfinity series diecast but there's your working steering. This does have the honor our, our, or support our troop tires all the detail on the wheels Goodyear looks really good so on for contingencies on the front nose we have Moog, Molly, Comp Cam and Sunoco Goodyear above the front tires got the patriotic NASCAR logo there on the roof post with NASCAR Nationwide Series Cruise Light Pole, Autometer Jag, Simpson, MSD, 3M, Edelbrock, Mobile One, Duralast Batteries or Duralast Brakes whichever one that is Holly High Performance Carbs and Mechanic Wear. Up on the roof row, we have the American flag and Kyle Larson with the 42 and Enos on the roof sponsor. Of course, got the bubble cam and some tie rubber on the 42. As I mentioned, functioning roof flaps. Got target ticket there on the C post. Enos got the uh, Bradley Gilbert uh, logo there, Chevrolet. Miller, Miller welders all in the B post. Got the silver outline for your uh, quarter window there that looks really good with the NACA duck detail. Got Enios there on the side. Got SEM, Wix, Mechanic Wear, Mac Tools, Lincoln Welders, and Sherwood Williams all on the contingencies in front of the rear wheels. Got all the side skirt detail. The 42 looks great on the door. There is some tie rubber on the door panel as well. Cartwheel by Target here on the quarter panel along with Safety Clean and the American Ethanol Fuel Buckeye. There is some tire rubber around the rear wells there. There is your simulated door latch or door handle there above the two on the door. You've got side marker indicators right there and above Moog. This is DIN number 360. Of course, we got Brantley Gilbert just as I am on the deck lid which is functional and there's hopefully you see it your red fuel cell 
There is a lot of cool detail for your fasteners and everything on the back of the spoiler there. TV panel has Enos, Bubblecam, 42 Chevrolet, and Camaro. And your simulated dual exhaust on the back there. The right side of the car is about the same as the left side. No major differences or uh, anything like that. It's not the dirtiest or most raced version anyways. I like how the orange on the side window is the same as the color of the car. You can see the outline of the right side window matches the body color. So that's really cool. There isn't too much difference on the side here. Except we got the burn marks for the exhaust. So overall it's a solid die cast. Like I said this paint scheme was always one of my favorites. And I'm glad Grace Trotter has continued to run that. At least in the Arca series from last year. So yeah, that is my review of the Kyle Larson 2014 History 300 winner in 124 scale by Lionel Racing. If you enjoyed this review, get a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can... So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. See you next time for an all new diecast review. Bye.